Okay, in this video I'm going to uh, cover addition using the compact method. Okay, now you'll see that I've got uh, four numbers here, 378, 294, 863, and 771. And uh, I'm just going to pick two of these numbers at random and uh, do um, uh, an addition and a subtraction uh, using the compact method. All right. So um, let's first of all take uh, 378 and uh, 863. Okay. Uh, the first thing you need to do uh, with the compact method, whether uh, uh, is um, which order that you're going to put the numbers in. Okay. So um, if we're doing addition. Okay, I always like to put the large number on top, um, which helps me to remember when I do subtraction that the big number goes on top. And I can tell what the big number is because I look at the hundreds, the digit in the hundreds column. This is an 8 in the hundreds column, and uh, this is a 3 in the hundreds column. So it's pretty obvious that this number here will go on top, and this number here will go on the bottom. Okay. Okay, so okay, so I've rewritten uh, the numbers and I've put the larger number on top uh, simply because uh, I find it easier. And I've written the headings units, tens, and hundreds. Okay, so now I'm going to add 3 and 8 is 11. And I carry the, uh, I carry the uh, digit 1 for the tens to the tens column. So that means that I've got 70, 70, add 60, add 10. Okay, so 70 add 60 is 130, add 10 is 140. I write the digit 4 from 140 here, and I carry the digit 1 from the 100 over to the hundreds column. I now have 300, add 800, add 100. Okay, so 800 plus 100 is 900, plus 300 will be 1,241 altogether. Okay? Right. Um, another way of doing it is if we take 863 and we add 378. Okay. Uh, this is another way of doing it. It's not the compact method, but um, you might be able to see how the carrying works. Uh, I take 3 and 8, that's 11, and I write 11 here, okay? Now, I take 70 and 60. 70 and 60 is 130. I write 130 here. I now take 300 and 800, okay? And that's going to be 1,100, okay? 1,100. We draw a line, and then we add this up, so 1 add 0, add 0 is going to be 1 here, then 10, add 30, add 0 is going to be 40, then 100 plus 100 is going to be 200 here, and then we have 1000, and you can see that the answer is the same. Okay, but basically what you need to remember is that when whenever you're in a column, for example, the units column, and you get a number that's more than 9, you have to take the digit that's in the tens column and add it to the tens column here. Okay, so that's why uh, we do the uh, carrying over here. All right.